Let's bring in Yasin Sekamate, a security and political analyst. He's also a member of community policing in Uganda and the national treasurer of the Private Security Association. He joins us via Zoom from Istanbul. Thank you very much, Yasin, for your time tonight. What are the factors behind the ADF resilience despite continued offensive operations by Uganda and DRC troops? Uh, thank you, Penina. Um, I think the problem that we are seeing in uh, Eastern Congo has uh, a history of uh, different interest from the different players in the world. Um, the world must know that uh, Congo and the Eastern part of it uh, has been uh, uh, involved in so many scandals. And this is mainly because of the environment in this area. Um, I'm thinking that uh, the region gave the region gave a lot of time for ADF to mobilize, and also use the eastern part of Congo to as uh, their mobilization camp, and they have been able to achieve a lot of things because they have the minerals that they rob and sell and get arms, and I think this is uh, a problem that had to be tackled by not only the Congo government, but the region at large. I'm thinking that. Uh, uh, all this conflict should have been solved if there was unity or if there was uh, a comprehensive agreement between the region, I mean East Africa and Africa, to help the Democratic Republic of Congo. But uh, since there was no will of solving this matter, and because the ADF was uh, a threat to Uganda but not to Congo in particular, um, I think the, the government in Kinshasa did not initiate all this to make sure they flush the democratic, uh, the alliance and democratic forces out of Congo. And this, because they had money, they were able to mobilize and get money and get arms, they were able to achieve a lot of things. They would have the training camp, they would have intelligence, they would buy the sophisticated weapons to fight against the government. But uh, I think uh, um, UPDF to go there and try to flush them out is coming when Congo is having a problem of infrastructure because any war to be fought, you need to have proper infrastructure and the weapon of advanced stages to, for you to be able to fight insurgents that have experience to stay in the in, in, uh, forests like this one in Eastern Congo. So to me, I think um, with the unity of Congo and the, the region, uh, ADF can be flushed out, but they have to know that the origin of, uh, of ADF comes because of the interest that they have and the strategic um, um, uh, benefits that they are getting from the eastern part of Congo. Because as I've told you, they, they were in the bush for some time and they were hard to be reached. And this has given them an opportunity to mobilize, to, to recruit younger children, and they also cause a serious threat to the region. But if Congo is waking up now and realizing the threat they have to accommodate the, fall, the, fallen, uh, the fallen rebel groups that are, are not fighting Congo directly, but they are fighting the neighbors, and coming together to, 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 to find solutions, security solutions, to flush them out and also start developing the eastern part of Congo, right. I think uh, it is coming at a time when the region is in need to make sure that the threats that they have been facing as, as East African is changing. Because I've seen the president of Congo trying to, um, to work with his counterparts to solve the problem of security. And as we all know, without stability in the region or in any country, there can not be development. So I think President Sekedi is coming on board with the, with the plans to develop the eastern part of Congo, which has not only been used by ADF alone, but even other many rebel groups that also try to fight Congo government. So it is coming at the right time, and I think if they are given enough time, they can achieve the mission goals. Right. So, and, and of course, you talked about it recently. We had that uh, summit in Kinshasa. The region saying they're now coming together. That was part of the discussions to talk about uh, ending conflict in the eastern part of DRC. But then again, this isn't new. We've had numerous peace agreements before. Uh, they haven't yet uh, pacified that region. Why haven't they? Very briefly. I, I think, Pen, uh, um, the, uh, as I told you, Congo is a, a strategic uh, country for many powers outside Congo. And they have been looking at the conflicts and using the conflicts in the eastern part of it to 
achieve so many of their goals. For example, the minerals, the, uh, the timbers, uh, that are coming from this part of the Democratic Republic of Congo has been an interest of not only African powers, but also the Western powers. And the, the existence of all these conflicts was helping them in one way or another to achieve their goals. But uh, as for Africa and Congo as a country, it was letting them down because there is no way they could uh, build the infrastructure in this area. Also to give access to proper education, proper housing, proper uh, health care for the people in the eastern part of Congo. And um, Congo, since independence, we all know that they, they had these conflicts. But the United Nations also deployed in this part of Congo to, to try to make sure they bring stability, which they have failed for a long time. So I think some of these local problems need, need local solutions. Okay. Political problems need political solutions. And I think the approach they are taking now to to say no, enough is enough. Let us have uh, a plan to also have the people in this part of uh, our country develop and start to live a life that they deserve. All right. But also, th when you look at the, rest, uh, the, the the aims and the objectives of ADF, they clearly uh, have nothing to do with the Democratic Republic of, of Congo, but they are looking at the attacking Uganda. And the, this also uh, causes a threat because they know if Uganda try to fight from its borders, the, the, the repercussions will go back to Congo. So coming together and also UPDF going to Congo, I think they need to plan to stay longer than how they planned because they are fighting a war with an enemy who has no front, with an enemy who has been in the bush for 30 years, and All with right, an yes, enemy yeah. who is used to live a life that they have not been living. So I think they need for sophisticated weapons. They need a lot of time. They need the planning. They need the financial support. And of course, a time that uh, is not limited for them to achieve the mission goals. All right. Let's